one of the most common conversations I still have with people when talking about PPC is manual versus fully automated softwares. And it pains me that I was on a call today with Celix. Um, don't mind dropping their name. They're great. They're amazing. I love some of Celix tools, but we were talking, we were talking about adding negatives to campaigns and we got on the topic of adding ASINs as negatives to auto campaigns and they said it can't be done. Okay. Their software cannot add negative ASINs to autos, which is half the point of negatives, right? Is ASINs eat up your budget and if you're using the software that can't do it and you don't know how to do it manually, it's how is it going to happen? So I want to I want to show you guys how quick and easy it is, even if you are using a software that does most of the stuff for you, that this kind of fills in a gap where some people are are missing. Okay, so all this is going to be is pulling a search term report and doing a bulk upload, adding ASINs as negatives. It's a very specific language, and I just wanted to run through it very quickly. So all I've done here, I pulled a search term report. I've hid a few things. Basically, all you want to do, download your search term report, put on filters, and then in the customer search term column, whatever that is, just type in B0, right? Because every single ASIN starts with B0. So type in B0, hit enter, and that way, now we're only looking at ASINs in our search term report. No keywords, nothing like that. So. You can see here, what I do when I'm adding negatives is you want to do two filters. You want to do clicks largest to smallest, and then ACOS largest to smallest, and you would add all of those as negatives. The second thing you want to do is just clicks largest to smallest, and then sales smallest to largest. Okay, So now I have all of these ones with clicks and no sales. So you want to do, you want to do two-fold there. So you get the ones that have you know 20 clicks and no sales, and the ones that have over 20 clicks and whatever your over your ACOS limit is. And the biggest thing, I, I want to circle back to it because in Celix, you can technically add ASINs as negatives. So you can think you can do it. And I and I did that and I added one as a negative to a campaign, but it it, it wasn't in the right format. So you went into the campaign and you saw that it was lowercase. And it wasn't under the negative products. It was it was considering that ASIN a keyword. So that's what the dangerous thing is too, is that if you've been using a software like that and you think that it's it's doing that correctly for you, you always want to double check in campaign manager to see if it's actually firing or not firing, right? If it actually came up as a negative. Okay. So enough of a spiel on that. Again, you guys know I'm all about bulk, I'm all about manuals, and I want to make sure that you guys know how to do all these things because they're pretty easy once you learn them quickly. So um, I boil it down to a really short example here. This is what your search term report is going to look like. You're going to have your campaign name, your ad group name, your targeting. Okay. Now, if you think about this, we've got two types of targeting. This is what an auto campaign targeting will look like. It'll be this star, right, because you're not targeting anything. And then... This is what product targeting would look like. So if you have um, you know, product, manual product targeting campaigns, there'll be this, ASIN equals parentheses this. And this, this format here is a hint. This is why this format is like this in the search term report, but you need to do, you need to do some, some tweaks here to make sure you add it as a negative, okay? But this is what we're interested in, customer search term. Again, you guys know these are, these are fake ASINs, but this is what it would look like. So all I did is pretend we have these seven ASINs have an ACOS of over 100%. Okay, so we want to add them as negatives to both our autos and our manual, manual product targeting campaign. That's totally fine to do. So all we do here, and if I've said it a couple times, is what, what is so tricky about this and don't hold me to it, I'm, I'm about 95% sure, is that these are lowercase in search term report, but they only fire in bulks if you make them uppercase, okay? It's such a weird, weird thing, right? But you need to make these uppercase first, okay? So that would be the first step, and there's, there's obviously some Excel formulas for uppercase, but this is a super easy one. You just open Word, 
you can do this, right? We can put these in here. We can, we can select them all. We can make them uppercase, okay? Now I've got all my ASINs are uppercase. I can come back to my search term report and I can paste them in, in here, okay? Now they're uppercase. Now I'm ready to start building my bulk upload with these negatives. So you guys know all you need is campaign name and ad group name. Again, these are gonna be different. I'm just using some, some dummy things here. Um, let me pull all of these. So we need campaign name, ad group name, and customer search term. That's it. That's all you need when adding stuff as negatives. Come in here. I always keep a bulk file just empty, just on my desktop. I call it actual bulk upload, and I keep just, just changing it and adding to it. So first thing, I have my campaign names in here. Boom, that's done. I want to copy down my ad groups. Ad groups go right here. That's done. Now, this is the weird language. And remember how they were form how they were formatted in the search term report. So what you do is you take these and you need to put them in two fields here. Okay? But the language the language is there. It has to be the language that was like it was in the search term report. ASIN equals parentheses, close parentheses. So every one of them needs to be like that, right? And, you know, I'm, I'm skipping some, some fancy Excel formulas here to, um, to even this out. But all you're doing is here is to add these as negatives, you have this exact format, ASIN equals the ASIN in parentheses, open and close it, in these two columns. You have to put it in keyword or product targeting, and then you have to put it in product targeting ID. Same exact thing, that's all you need. This is what took me months to, to figure out. Match type, negative targeting expression. You guys saw, I just keep this bulk file open with this language in here because I always forget exactly what it is. But this is how you add ASINs as negatives. You put them like this, you do negative targeting expression, you do status enabled, and you add them to the ad group in the campaign, boom, you're done, okay? So I wanted to really, really take some time and walk through that, that's it. A lot of people, when they see ASINs in search term report, they ignore them because they're like, oh, well, I can't, if you, if you add them as negative exact, it's not gonna work, right? If you add them as negative exact, like you would for normal keywords, nothing's going to happen. This is the language, negative targeting expression, all of this good stuff. Guys, if you have software that doesn't do this, pull a report for 30 days, run through it, add all of these as negatives, it's really gonna help you out.